evening everyone and welcome back to the channel this is shy dreams thought i'd do a quick update um, video or tutorial on how to switch the dashboard on your xbox emulator um, i like the evolution x dashboard but i also like the xbox media player as well too um, because it seems like they put a little more thought effort into um, the skin design on there. Not to say that the Evolution X doesn't have skins, which they do, but they just seem a little plain Jane, and I'm like, I uh, might as well do something different. So all links to the programs will be at the bottom um, for this particular tutorial. Uh, what we're going to need to download is the XBE Shortcut Maker. Um, in this case, you want to open it up and basically point the shortcut to the Xbox uh, Media Center folder which in the first tutorial we put it on the F drive so basically you want to take that out and have this point directly to it. It's definitely in apps um, and it's Xbox Media Center folder and then it's a default XBE. You want to cre click create the shortcut uh, put it in a place where you know you can reach it um, from your FTP application and you need to name it um, Xbox Dash dot um, XBE basically save it and that's it you can close the application next you need to go to your Xbox emulator I did ask the question um, about this port forwarding and I was the answer was is that every time that you want to modify something on the Xbox emulators um, image you have to put this command in or there's no toggle and you can leave it on and you can just access it so every time that you want to access the files you have to go to the debug menu go to monitor paste this command in hit enter um, it was successful we don't have any errors at the bottom of it you can close this window and then go over to your FTP application uh, we're gonna click it you want to go to your C drive go down to your Xbox dash XBE you want to rename it you can call it O backup BAC um, you can delete it if you want, but I don't really recommend it. I'll just leave it as that. And then go to where you have um, the XBE that you created, which here is ours right here. So we're going to upload that. It was upload successful. We can close out of this application as well, too. And close it. Then go to your machine here, tell it to shut down, and then you can open it back up. And there you have it brand new dashboard, um, which you can switch those. Here. Looks like it went off on us. So you can go over to appearance and go to scan and then you can change it to basically whatever you want. I'll leave a link down in the description to where you can download other ones. They have one that looks like an Xbox one which or Xbox one. Let's see here. Which I thought it was pretty cool. I just gotta figure out how to set it up though. So it gives you that Xbox One feel. They do let you configure it. So you can have your gamer tag, um, all your videos and stuff running. I mean, like far as the games that you might want to you know, upload to your image. But like I said, I'll definitely leave the links down in the description for the different scans. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. And then I'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, take care.